is Stephanie Barnes and this is my series Brick Wall Chats and it is episode number, let me look at my screen here, episode number 34 and it's about the importance of communication which is a theme that's come up in the last these videos that I've been recording today. I've recorded about, I think this is number 10 that I've recorded today or 12, something like that because um, I recorded a couple of extra ones um, for other people. Um, for other purposes and so yeah this um, importance of communication has come up I'm sure I've talked about this earlier <laughs> in the day as I've recorded some of the other ones um, but this one is specifically on the importance of communication and why is communication important because people don't read minds I don't read minds I have a twin sister we never read each other's minds. I had a teacher in high school that tried to test us to see if we could read each other's minds and we couldn't. Um, although she played a trick, I don't think trick is even the right word. Um, she pretended to be reading the mind of another friend of ours that was in the class at the time. Um, yeah, so not her and I, but her and somebody completely unrelated. Um, and totally screwed up the French teacher and yeah was I got really upset because um, he wouldn't listen to me that I wasn't doing any that I wasn't part of this um, that it was the two of them anyway um, all of this to say is why communication is important is because we don't read minds um, we need to be told things we don't all have the same experience we're not all going to come to the same conclusions um, we need we need there to be communication if we want people to be on the same page and to, to follow us or to be able to execute without being micromanaged, which everyone, no one that I know likes to be micromanaged. There needs to be communication about the vision, about the objectives, about why we're doing this, about what the desired outcomes are, about the status, um, where things are, why they're delayed or why they're ahead. Or, you know, there needs to be communication about all of these things because if people don't have all the information and up-to-date information they'll make the wrong decisions go in the wrong direction do the wrong things not meet the goals and objectives of the organization so we need to communicate a lot and we need to listen a lot and not just assume that we know and if we get to a place where we don't know the answer ask a question Again, that's another form of communication. Asking questions is certainly communication because you're communicating that you don't know the answer and that you need some information that someone needs to provide for you or you need to, that you're going to make an assumption based on what you do know and go from, from that perspective. Certainly that was one of the things when I was writing the Uniform Final Exam for a Chartered Accounting designation was we were supposed to state our assumptions. Um, so I always stated a lot of assumptions and then I would would you know argue against myself and say well if this assumption isn't true then and this is some of the work that I do today with organizations is is ask them what their assumptions are and and just say to them well what if that's not true I don't know if it is or not but what if it's not what if that assumption isn't true or what if that reason why you've been doing that for 30 years isn't true anymore and we should be doing it a different way what if that's not true why challenge it. Critical thinking comes into play. Communication is key for all of this. We need to communicate better. We need to not write it off and say, I don't have time to communicate. You don't have time to not communicate. Because in not communicating, you're saying, I'm prepared for this to completely go off the rails and fail at this point. And t I will take the consequences because I don't want to tell anybody why they should be doing this and how they should be doing this and what's in, what's our goals and objectives so that they can act with some um, autonomy to, to meet the goals and objectives of themselves. Um, you are saying when you don't communicate that you are going to micromanage. Um, and yeah, and honestly, this is not a mature attitude to take. We need to communicate. We need to all communicate better and not hide behind things, not behind, not try to pretend something we're not, um, which I'm going to come up in my next video about because I'm going to wrap this up. It's just about five minutes. So thank you for listening. This has been 
me ranting a little bit about the importance of communication. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to reach out and, you know, in the comments or and subscribe, certainly. And um, yeah, thanks for listening and watching. Bye.